we all know that the water if contains hardness we call it as hard water means it contains calcium or magnesium salts which does not produce leather with soap so the water becomes hard if it is having dissolved salts of calcium and magnesium dissolved in it and at the same time it's not going to give proper leather with soap that is a problem and in my water playlist i have explained it well that how it reacts with edta and how it makes a bond with edta and it is useful method in order to find out how much hard the water is so hi uh, i am neha and today i am going to discuss about a numerical many of you have placed a request stating that uh, you want to solve some kind of numericals though one more video is already posted but this would be in continuation so let's solve the numerical of the day the numerical says that the 100 ml of water sample means water sample means uh, the hard water sample is titrated with 0.05 molar edta Uh, i hope you remember ethylene diamine tetraacetic acid 30 ml edta was consumed with tap water and after boiling 15 ml of edta was used so there are two readings basically for titration 1 the reading is 30 ml and for titration 2 the reading is 15 ml for titration 1 you have used normal hard water which you call it as as of now in the question it's tap water fine and for titration 2 it's boiled water after boiling you have titrated that means you have removed the uh, temporary hardness after boiling whatever is left is permanent hardness that's why this reading is lower than the previous reading so obviously there will be two cases case 1 for which you are going to find out the total hardness of the water sample how are you going to do is to equate this hard water with the edta reading so uh, case 1 says that hard water uh, sample water reading you have to use that is 30 ml so in this case what are we going to do is we are going to utilize the equation m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 m1 is molarity of hard water uh, v1 is volume of hard water m2 and v2 are of edta fine so uh, in the question whatever is written you have to substitute for uh, water your aim is to find out m1 obviously they are asking you the hardness so as of now let us consider this m1 is nothing but hardness volume how much water you have taken 100 ml so 100 is equal to what is the molarity of edta 0.05 so 0.05 and multiply by volume now since you are going to find out total hardness so obviously out of these two readings what are you going to do which one you are going to use yes you are going to use 30 ml now you use this uh, calculation and together please do the numerical with me and let me know what do you get as the answer what as of now i suppose m1 would be equal to uh 0.05 into 30 divide by 100 and i guess that is going to give you 0.015 molarity so mole per liter as of now will treat it as molarity now your aim is to find out the total hardness so what are you going to do is you are going to find out the strength and for that you are going to multiply the molarity with what with molar mass see when normality is given we multiply it with equivalent weight but now since molarity is given we have to multiply it with the molar mass so the molarity value is 0.015 as you have calculated here fine now molar mass which molar mass you are going to consider you do mention me in comments if you are getting this numerical or not okay that will give me motivation and a guidance like uh, which video to be posted again fine so as of now molar mass is 100 because uh, molar mass of hardness is to be taken for cseo3 salt because cseo3 is taken as a reference so 100 is the molar mass for cseo3 now if you multiply them together the answer will come in gram per liter fine because it's a strength so molarity in molar mass will give you gram per liter but the hardness unit is milligram per liter or ppm so you multiply this 1.5 in 1000 
and that uh, will give you the hardness in milligram per liter or you may call it as ppm2 fine so 1500 milligram per liter or ppm now as of now your total hardness is all right fine this is total hardness now case 2 what is case 2 you have to find out the permanent hardness too so this time you have to use boiled uh, water sample fine so there were two readings in the question the first reading was 30 and the second reading was 15 so now you have to use boiled water sample again uh, we'll use the same equation m1 v1 is equal to m2 v2 where m1 v1 is for water and m2 v2 is for edta now you please solve the question along with me and let me know in comments that are you able to understand what i'm trying to say so m1 v1 your aim is to find out m1 correct permanent hardness is the aim so as of now m1 is your aim v1 means how much volume you have taken water 100 right we've titrated it with 100 ml coming to m2 in the question it is already given what 0 0.05 molar multiply by v2 that would be your burette reading so burette reading was 15 in this case now solve what are you going to get as m1 now if you solve this the way which we have solved earlier uh, you are going to get 0 0.0075 molarity or you may call it as mole per liter. Now to convert it into the hardness, don't forget that is the strength and for that you have to multiply the molarity with the molar mass, right? And molarity value is 0 0.075, right? So, substitute 0 0.0075 and multiply it with molar mass of, yes, you are right, calcium carbonate. So, multiply it with 100 and uh, you will get the answer in, in gram per liter. So, you have to multiply it with 10 cube, that is 1000. So, gram per liter will convert it into milligram per liter. And when you solve this, you are going to get 750 milligram per liter or you may call it as 750 ppm as milligram per liter and ppm are same. Now if, here only if I ask you to convert it in other two units degree uh, French and degree Clark also then will you be able to do it? If yes, please do mention in comments, solve the question and report this answer in all the four units like ppm, milligram per liter, degree Clark and degree French. Now coming to the final answer, that means uh, permanent hardness is done, total hardness is done. What is temporary hardness then? Temporary hardness would be obviously total hardness is temporary plus permanent. So temporary would be total minus permanent hardness fine so you already get the value what was that 1500 for total and 750 for permanent and that is going to give you 750 again milligram per liter or you may call it as ppm so with that let us quickly revise what we have done today the question was very simple that 100 ml of the water sample was titrated with 0 0.05 molar EDTA, 30 ml of EDTA was consumed with tap water and after boiling only 15 ml was used. So calculate the temporary and permanent hardness of the given sample. See in the question it is only temporary and permanent but I have shown you total also. Why? Because to in order to get the temporary hardness you have to calculate the total hardness. Fine. So now uh, going ahead with the question, we started with using both of the cases M1, V1, M2, V2 first for the total hardness. So for total hardness, you have to use the final reading 30 ml. M1 is for your water into 100, molarity 0 0.05 into 30. Uh, that will give you the uh, value of molarity when you multiply it with molar mass you can convert it into strength multiply it with 1000 to convert it into milligram per liter that will give you total hardness for permanent hardness you have to repeat the entire process the only thing is the reading of volume will differ and here the reading of volume is to be taken for the boiled water sample and do the calculations similarly 
find out the strength and in order to find out the temporary hardness total minus permanent will give you the answer so with that i think you are able to understand how this kind of questions are solved where the molarity is not 0.01 molar by default rather it's something else than that then you have to simply use m1 v1 and you have to simply use molar mass of calcium carbonate so if you have liked the content please hit like or do subscribe for more such videos and also do mention in the comment how do you like it thank you so much